Welcome to the video of Ort. After many years, Yaakov and Yosef finally reunite. The Torah tells us, Vayipol al Savara Vayef, that Yosef fell upon his father Yaakov and wept. However, Rashi commenting says it was only Yosef who wept for his father, but Yaakov did not respond in kind. He did not weep over his son. Why, says Rashi? Because he was too busy fulfilling the mitzvah of Kriya Shema, reciting Shema. Now this comment of Rashi is somewhat troubling on its face. Yaakov couldn't spend a moment to get, express his feelings to his son, to show his love for his son, his emotion after all these years of separation. The Maharal addresses this uh, problem and suggests the following. Yaakov wasn't simply pushing his son away or delaying expression of his own feelings, but rather Yaakov sees his son approaching in full regalia, showing the power and prestige of the king himself, Mishnah Lamelech, only second to Paro. And in that moment, he realized that all these years of pain and challenge and suffering were for a purpose. There was an end game, and the end game was to get Yosef to this point, to this place, so he could do what he had to do. And Yaakov now it transforms this moment of personal joy into a divine moment of appreciation to the Rebona Shalom, Hakara Satov, and love for the Rebona Shalom. The Ahavtas Hashem Elokecha Shema is precisely the right thing to say. It was not simply an opportunity for father and son to reunite, but an opportunity for Yaakov to transform this true, honest, emotional uh, moment between the two of them into a true, honest, emotional, and divine moment. The mission of the children of Yaakov, of Bnei Israel, is to be able to reveal the presence of the Rabboni Shalom of God in our lives and in the world. And that's precisely what Yaakov modeled for us, for his own son in that moment. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu bless us with many opportunities to show gratitude to the Rabboni Shalom. And in the moments of our lives, transform them into moments of divine awareness and divine inspiration. Good Shabbos.